All right, so we got a pit coming into action here. Pit versus Pac-Man. Interesting call. I'll be willing to. I'll be waiting to see how this goes. Uh, initial thoughts. I think Pitt has actually an easier time dealing with this weird this weird spacing and map control that Pac-Man had. I think his multiple jumps allow him to uh, get around that a bit better. Also, uh, while his shields leave a lot of downtime coming out of it, he can also use this to get rid of both melons and fire hydrants. So, I don't know. Overall, I really like the pickup of uh, Pitt into Pac-Man. So uh, Gino Blob, um, if I'm not mistaken, he he was one of our top players um, early on in, uh, in uh, Anvil Smash. Um, but he hasn't been here for about five or six weeks, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was a, he was a top five player. Hmm. I'm so not familiar with him. So it's uh, it's good to see him back here. Using using the down B very well. Yeah, it's, like I said, that's a very... I just like this pick. I like this pick in the Pac-Man a whole lot. The multi-jumps to deal with the fire hydrant. Um, the shields to deal with the other parts of the fire hydrant, mm -hmm. and you know the melons and apples and keys and, and spaceship the, and the bells and bells. Yeah, I think there's, there's cherries. One of them. I don't mm -hmm. think so. Maybe. <laughs> maybe it's like an orange. Yeah, the orange. Mm -hmm. Shame that they didn't give him the pretzel. Yeah, or pretzel. the or the banana. Yeah. Uh, so those have been. You really gotta wonder what Sakurai was thinking sometimes. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to call him. What a jabroni. So Pit is Pit is taking the fire hydrants almost completely out of play with his uh, with his reflector. And it's working to great, of course. One thing you gotta give Death Melon credit for is that he has slowed down the pace of this game real well. Uh, you know, he took a lot of damage really fast and early, and now, you know, even though he lost his stock a long time ago. He's only sitting on 11 damage. Mm -hmm. So it's a great look up for bringing that back up. The problem is, he's not getting close enough to actually get a kill in. Uh, while Fire Hydrants are cool and they allow kids in the streets of New York to like dance if I've, you know, watched Hey Arnold enough. Right, yeah. yeah God, I've yeah, talked about uh, Hey Arnold a little bit too much in the stream. The, docu the documentary Hey Arnold. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're not going to kill you before he gets up to like 160, 170. Mm -hmm. And so he's got to go for something that's going to get in there, and he's not doing it at the moment. He's going to go for the key. Now I'll go over the bell. Going for the stun lock that the bell gives you. And then probably going to give him the old ghost. Give him the old Inky Blinky and Sue. Inky Blinky. Pinky. Pinky. I can only think of Stinky. That's definitely not and it. The, and then the last one doesn't rhyme, if I'm not no, mistaken. No, it's Sue. Yeah, well, it could be Sue or there's Ooh. one. Uh, there's also one that's like Fred or something. I'm sure someone will be back eventually. Death no one What's missing What's the fourth ghost in Pac-Man called? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> so Sue is definitely th one of them. I, th I think it's Sue. Hey, go, go, Three see, of them, see if anyone's told us. Has anyone told us in the stream? Yeah, Marcus is probably all over this. Clyde, it's Clyde. Oh, Clyde. Yeah, I remember it at the last second. Oh wait. So Death Melon not making a switch. Uh, Going to continue with Pac-Man. I'll be interested to see if he uh, switches up a strategy at all because projectiles are not working for him right now. To yeah. be fair, this this bit is nasty. Yeah, he's very obviously got a pretty good game on him. Yeah. I uh This is also the level he went to last time, wasn't it? Oh actually um, the Sheik picked this level. Yeah, yeah, Sheik picked this level. And then Pac-Man picked it this time. Mm -hmm. Interesting call. Alright. Yeah. I would love to I'd love to uh get the reasoning behind that. I like it. I think it's a better map. I think it's a better level for uh, Pac-Man than Pit, but I would I, I wouldn't have thought the fight come out. Would be interesting to see if he uses his uh, side B a little more. Um, you know, I don't play a lot of Pac-Man, but um, that's always seemed to be a very effective move. Really great for misdirection as well. Yeah, its biggest its biggest uh, downside is that it does leave you down for quite about a, a large amount of time. Mm -hmm. And so if you miss, you you can be punished. I'm not saying you will be, but you can be punished from it if the person's looking out for it. Catching his own bell. Look at that hit stun. Oh, and he gives him the Perfect. inky. <laughs> Was that actually inky? Yeah, inky's the red one. Nice, dude. 
I believe uh, Clyde slash Sue is orange. Inky is red. Uh, Pit just gave him the business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no name for that one, man. That's side of the side of the level. Yeah, I believe Blinky is blue. Uh, Inky is pink, and Clyde slash Sue is orange. Mm -hmm. So Pac-Man keeps throwing these apples out. Uh, oh, why am I even going to say this? But sad for him, Pitt is not a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Out. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, god. Yeah, I'm sorry, everybody. I run the things to say every once in a while. <laughs> Still, though. This Pit's having a pretty good match. I'm wondering, how, what I'm really interested to see if uh, Hinoblob can find a way to take this match, which he's looking like he, he's, he's at least someone on his way to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm wondering if we're going to see something coming out, a Death Metal that's not Pac-Man. Yeah, um, I, was, I was interested to see that he did not switch on yeah. this last match. Well, the match had gotten close there near the end, and you know, even now, he's not. Yeah, yes. I mean... Okay, well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Right, I forgot we're on a 30 second delay. So I said that and nobody said anything. And I was like, I can't believe I just need to get lambasted for that awful, awful joke. And then I look over and 30 seconds later, I'm getting booed out of the house. Yeah. That, that's appropriate though, I take no offense. Who's booing? Bigums 12. Bigums. Hates it. <laughs> He's an institution here. In all fairness, I hated it too, so that's fine. All right, so definitely choosing to stick with Pac-Man. Um, and bringing it to the duck hunt. Goodness. Yeah, I mean the, the the point you brought up earlier. It's you know it's not like he's it's not like he's getting crushed. He's he's been competitive in uh, in both matches. But I just feel like Pac-Man is not a great matchup for uh, against Pit. No, I think it's you know I'm going to assume that Geno Blob does not get to play against Pac-Man very much. I don't really think good double kill ducks very proud of those guys. But I don't think I don't think you know you don't get to practice Pac-Man very often because I mean who plays them? No one. Uh, and so I think just coming in blind, I really got to imagine Pit has got to be one of your top five choices to go up against the pack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the dog is just laughing at them. And this is, you know, this is just embarrassing for both yeah. players. There, there we go. We're, we're saving face. We, we killed the duck. Yeah, we got to score 3,000. Yeah. That's better than those scrubs were doing earlier. I saw one that only had 1,500 points in the first round. You're kidding me. I, I can't believe someone's that bad at duck on, honestly. Yeah. Ooh, I love the little short hop down air there. Mm -hmm. Twice in a row. Great little move by Juno Blog. Getting Pac Man up in the air. And on this stage, there is so much room above you that once you. <laughs> the slow melon is the deadliest melon, man. I think it's yeah, going to creep in. It's coming in hot. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. All right. So Four a total six. score of 3,500 in round one. Um, not great. But not terrible. Actually, I guess it's not even up to get to round two. God, they just sit there. These ducks aren't even moving just, that fast. Ducks are just flying free here in this. Yeah. With all these projectiles, all these apples, oranges, arrows, you would think they could kill one dead. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm trying to give him Blinky. Ooh, Pac Man getting hit with his own. It really it looks like Gina Block has got this. He, he, he has really just read this matchup and done well. Yeah. I have to admit, I'm very impressed by, by the play style. I mean, we just saw this against that cheek. He's mm -hmm. no slouch. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely not. De Death Melon is, is a very impressive Pac Man, but about Gina yeah. Block is. Yeah, I don't, think this, I don't think this says poorly about Death Melon. I really think this just speaks highly of how Gina Block did. That being said, I don't care. Like, uh, I don't know, I hey, there's yeah, a duck. That was a good duck. Nailed that duck. That yeah. duck got the hydrant. I gotta say, uh, no matter how good these two are, what they do in Smash, it does not save them from being absolute garbage at duck hunt. Yeah. Another flyaway. Like, they've gotten two of eight ducks here. <laughs> two thousand points. <laughs> okay, there we go. Another duck. God, this is gonna be even worse around. Let's get get the belt. Oh, the hit okay, stuff. We got the hit stuff. All right. 
There Ooh. it is. All right. So Junipop's taking that 3-0. Uh, what I very, will call very it. impressive by An incredibly impressive showing there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, Gina Blob is this. Ooh, okay. That means we're going to get.